we're going to talk about space shapes and plane shapes. They're also known as 3D or 2D, three-dimensional or two-dimensional shapes. This is lesson 10.2. I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible. We know a circle is round, right? We know a square has four sides, and all the sides are the same length. That's what makes it a square. A rectangle has four sides. Two of the sides have the same length, like the top and the bottom are the same length, and the two other sides have the same length as each other. See that? A triangle has three sides, and the sides could be any length. We could have a triangle that's really tall and skinny like this. We could have a triangle that looks like this where all the sides are the same length. We could even have one that's really long and wide on the bottom, but not very tall. Those are all triangles. They all have three sides. Well, we can trace the face, that's the flat surface, of a 3D space shape to draw a flat plane shape. I'll show you the difference here. If you've ever gone to a, a 3D movie and they made you wear the glasses so that you could see the movie in 3D, that means three-dimensional. Well, dimension means measure. If something's two-dimension, it has two measures. It has a length and a width, like a picture or a piece of paper. That's 2D, two-dimension. My little square here is 2D because he's just flat on my board, isn't he? Three dimension means three measures. Remember, dimension means measure. So that's 3D. That means not only does it have a length and a width, but now it has a height. Okay? It would be the difference between this drawing of a rectangle and this rectangle that actually has dimension to it. See that? Three dimension to it, I should say. It has a length, a width, and a height. So if I put it up on the board here, it would stick out, see? It's sticking out from the board where this one is flat on the board. That's 2D, okay? So um, I know these lessons are calling these space shapes, which is really a 3D shape, and they're calling that a plane shape, which is a 2D shape. It means the same thing, okay? because that's on a flat plane, all right? So, a face of an object is any flat surface on that object. If we draw around a face of a cylinder, here's a cylinder, we'll make a circle. So, I've got a cylinder here, hang on. Here's my cylinder, and if we take this flat face, see how it's flat here and it's flat here on each side? It's flat on the top and it's flat on the bottom. If I put this on a piece of paper, I can draw around it, see? And it'll make a circle. See how we drew around it and made a circle? We took a space shape, a 3D shape, and made a plane shape out of one of the faces by tracing around the edge of the face, see? If we draw around the face of a cube, we're going to make a square. I can take my cube here. Hang on. Here's my cube, and I just put it on a piece of paper, or I put it on my board, and if I trace around the edge, see? I make a square, because the face is square. See that? If we draw around the face of a rectangular prism, we'll make a rectangle. I take my rectangular prism here, and we just put it on a piece of paper, or I put it on my board, and I drew around it, and I made a rectangle because that's the shape of the face. See? What would have happened if I drew around this face right here? What would have happened if I drew it like this? It wouldn't have made a rectangle, would it? It would have made a square if I put it on this face. See? Because a face is any flat surface. Any surface that you can lay the shape down that it won't roll because it's got edges, that's a face, okay? If we draw around the face of a cone, we'll make a circle. 
I took, I took my cone, see? So this part right here is not a face because if I laid it down on that part, it would roll, wouldn't it? So that's not a face. A face is a flat surface. So the flat surface of the cone is this bottom part here. And I can draw around it and trace around it and make a circle, see? Because it is a circle. If we draw around a face of a pyramid, we'll make a triangle. And it doesn't matter which face I use, because a triangle that has a triangle bottom, that's a triangle pyramid or triangular pyramid, that's going to have four faces. It's going to have the three around here, and then it's going to have the one on the bottom. And if I trace around it, I'm going to make a triangle. See? I can turn it this way, and it's going to make a triangle. And I could turn it this way, and it's going to make a triangle, because it's a triangle pyramid, or triangular, some say. Now, there's also a square pyramid. See? This one's got a square bottom, and it's got four sides. See that? I could trace it around this way, on this face, and make a triangle, or I could trace it around its bottom and make a square. See? So there's a triangle pyramid that's got a triangle bottom, or there's a square pyramid that's got a square bottom. See that? So a face is a flat surface, and we can count the faces of each shape. So how many flat surfaces are there? How many flat surfaces would a cube have? Well, it's got the top and the bottom, that's one, two, and it's got the four sides going all the way around. So that makes six faces, six flat surfaces. A square pyramid has four faces coming around its sides that are triangles and a square one at the bottom that's five faces four plus one is five a triangular pyramid is going to have three triangles coming around the side that are faces and one underneath so that makes four three plus one is four a cylinder has two faces it's got the face on this side and the face on this side this part right here is not a face because it's not flat. It rolls on that side, see? So that's not counted as a face. It's got to be something it can stand up on. A cone has only one face at the bottom here, see? A rectangular prism has six faces just like a cube. It's got the face at this end, the face at this end, and the top, side, bottom, and back. That's the four coming around it, and then the two ends, four plus two is six. So how many flat surfaces does a sphere have? Well, none. You put a ball on a table and it's gonna wanna roll, isn't it? It doesn't have any flat faces. So there's no faces on a sphere. So just remember, dimension just means measure. And you're gonna learn a little bit more about this in third grade. My little guy here is two dimensions. He has a length and a width. That's it. He's flat on my dry erase board. But if you have a box, you can have a length, a width, and a height. And that's three dimensions. So that's 3D, okay? That's what they're calling space shapes. So there's a difference between a shape that has three measures and a shape that has only two. Okay, and we can take those 3D space shapes and make 2D plane shapes by tracing one of the faces. Okay, we're going to continue on talking about shapes and how we can create new shapes from other shapes. All right, I'll see you next video. Bye.